Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking you through a time lapse of the golden Labrador nose I completed for Patreon. So I just begin by using a dark grey pencil to map out the details of the nose and nostrils. I like to do this first so that I have something to work around. And then I start to build the base of the nose using a cold grey pencil, focusing on those shadowed areas first. And I always like to use circular motions when shading in the nose, as it just helps to create that texture. And then I'm adding in a light layer of pink, covering the majority of the nose. And then once I've got that down, I can start to gradually build up the darker layers. Working into those shadowed areas using a slightly heavier pressure, and taking the pressure off as I come into the centre of the nose. I can see a lot of different tones in the nose, so here I'm adding a layer of violet grey, again focusing around those shadowed areas. And I can also see some warmer orange peachy tones at the base of the nose, so here I'm adding a layer of brown ochre 50%. Now the right side of the nose has some cooler tones to it, so I'm starting with a lighter blue pencil to shade under the nostril, adding only a touch of colour on this left side, and then also at the top of the right nostril. And then I can see inside the nostril it has a deeper pink to it, so I'm getting that colour down before going in with a darker pencil. And using the same dark sepia we used at the start, I'm going back over those darker areas on the nose, using a heavier pressure, and then taking the pressure off to start building up the shadow at the base of the nose here. At this stage in the drawing, I'm not focusing on adding any precise detail, I just want to get a nice base layer down with the shadowed areas in, and then towards the end we can focus more on adding those details. I feel like it is still important to create the texture by using circular motions, as this helps to create the look of those little patterns in the nose, so I'm not creating a totally smooth base here. And then I like to go in with a more neutral pencil, this is just to balance out those pink tones in the nose. And then once we've got all those colours in, I'm using a white pencil just to go over this highlighted area in the centre. And once I feel like I've got a lot of the base and mid-tone layers down, I can start to add in more precise details. So here I'm using the Polychromos Mauve, as I can see a lot of cooler purple tones on the right side above the nostril. And then I'm just continuing to build up those layers using cooler tone greys like the Payne's Grey pencil, getting all those patterns I can see in the nose, but making sure to take the pressure off as I work into the centre of the nose. Still using the same Payne's Grey pencil, I'm just going back over those darker areas using a heavier pressure, but taking the pressure off to add in those finer details around the top. Sometimes the patterns can look a bit harsh, but we can always go in and add colours over the top to soften the area a little, and I'll also bring out some of the highlights in between the darker patterns. So here I'm just using the Pablo Brownish Orange, which is a lovely pink brown orange shade, and I'm using this to add in extra detail, as well as shade over certain areas. And then going in with a deeper blue pencil, I'm working into the shadowed areas, focusing around the right nostril. And then taking the light cobalt blue we used earlier, I'm just bringing out the highlighted areas. The nose has a mix of warm and cool tones, so I like to switch between the dark sepia pencil and the Payne's grey to build up those darker details. So here I'm using the dark sepia pencil to shade in, as well as add in extra details. And then taking the white museum Acroel pencil, I'm working in between those darker patterns to bring out the highlights, as well as smoothing out any areas of the nose. Taking the Caput Morton Violet, which is a deeper pinky brown, I'm glazing over areas of the nose, as well as adding detail. And then I'm just adding a touch of deeper pink into the nostril, using the Polychromos Burnt Carmine. Now I can also see some slightly olive green tones at the base of the nose, so I'm using the olive green yellowish to shade in. And then taking the Luminance Payne's Grey 30%, and bringing out some of those grey blue tones right around the nose, and then adding a touch of colour around the right nostril. To bring back some of that warmth in the nose, I'm taking the Polychromos Cinnamon, and I'm shading it around the nose, making sure to keep that lighter area free. And then again I'm going back in with the dark sepia pencil to add in any final details around the nose. Once I feel like it's nearly complete, I like to take a bit of a step back and see if there's anything I need to change or add to the nose. So then I decide to finish off by adding a touch of brownish orange and then a touch of polychroma sanguine, just to bring out those deeper orange tones I can see. And there is the nose complete. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you'd be interested in following along the full real-time tutorial you can join me over on Patreon.